deeply entwined with the intricate historical, geographical and cultural dynamics of the Indian subcontinent and the island nation itself is the tale of why Sri Lanka is not a part of India. Although there is a long history of engagement and strong relations between India and Sri Lanka, there are a number of elements that have contributed to Sri Lanka's unique character and continued existence as a sovereign state. Geographical separation. Sri Lanka's geographical separation from India is one of the main causes of its independence. At its closest point, the distance between Sri Lanka and the Indian mainland is around 31 kilometers, 19 miles, located off the southeast coast of India across the Palk Strait. Historically, this physical barrier has served as a natural boundary, allowing both regions to develop unique political and cultural identities. Historical settlements and kingdoms, people, goods and ideas have easily flowed between Sri Lanka and India throughout history, resulting in close relations between the two regions. They did, yet, also give rise to unique political systems and civilizations. Several native kingdoms, like Anuradhapura and Polonnaruwa, thrived in Sri Lanka, formerly known as Ceylon, free from Indian domination. Colonial influence, the boundaries that currently separate India and Sri Lanka were mostly shaped during the colonial era. The British East India Company and the British Crown separately colonized Sri Lanka, then known as Ceylon throughout the 19th century, while the British Empire ruled over most of the Indian subcontinent. Different political and administrative systems emerged in Sri Lanka as a result of this independent colonial rule. Nationalist movements and independence, driven by the desire for self-governance and freedom from colonial control, Nationalist movements gained traction in both Sri Lanka and India during the 20th century. Sri Lanka became independent of British sovereignty in 1948, one year after India did so in 1947. Leaders like D.S. Senanayake in Sri Lanka and Mahatma Gandhi in India played a crucial role in determining the course of their respective countries. Diversity of ethnic and cultural background. The island of Sri Lanka is home to a multitude of ethnic and cultural communities, including Sinhalese, Tamil, Muslim, and other groups. This diversity has influenced Sri Lanka's relationship with India and created complex dynamics within the country, along with political tensions and historical grudges. Despite having similar languages and cultures, Sri Lanka and India have different identities and different geopolitical agendas, which frequently result in disagreements and even wars. As Sri Lanka's independence from India draws to a conclusion, it illustrates the complex web of geography history and culture that has molded the two countries' relationship. Even though Sri Lanka and India are two different countries, they are nonetheless connected by their common history. As a sovereign nation navigating its own path on the international scene and embracing its distinct identity as a mingling pot of various cultures and traditions, Sri Lanka stands tall in the modern day. Its people's tenacity and tenacity are demonstrated by their path from colonial authority to freedom with a sense of pride in its history and a dedication to establishing new alliances and cooperative ventures with its neighbors and the global community, Sri Lanka is looking to the future. Though the history of Sri Lanka's exclusion from India may be one of division, it also serves as a reminder of the unbreakable ties that bind all people together as members of the same family. 